Russia is pretty angry with China. In fact, it has had it with China. And now, Russia has issued a subtle warning to its expansionist neighbor. With China constantly eating into Russia's sphere of influence, Moscow is not holding back its anger. Russia's official military paper, Krasnya Zvezda, which is the Red Star, has issued a stern warning that Moscow will perceive any ballistic missile launched at its territory as a nuclear attack, warranting a nuclear retaliation. The popular perception within media circles is, of course, that the harsh warning is aimed at the United States of America. But recent geopolitical developments, including China's attempts to undermine Russian influence in the Arctic and Central Asia, attempts to copy Russian defense designs and its claims in the Russian Far East strongly suggest that the warning is actually aimed at Beijing. Russia knows that the Trump administration has locked horns with China. As such, the US hasn't made any aggressive diplomatic or military moves against Russia. There is no reason why Russia will itself make such strong statements about the US today, even if we keep the entire history of a Cold War between the erstwhile Soviet Union and the US in mind. On the other hand, it is China that has backstabbed Russia in a rather brutal and unabashed manner. Russian President Vladimir Putin shares a strategic axis of convenience with China that aims to reduce competition in areas of conflict and encourage cooperation in areas of mutual interest. But what has China done? Most recently, China has staked claim on Tajikistan's Pami region, which forms almost 45% of the Central Asian country's territory. Tajikistan is a former Soviet territory and the Kremlin believes that it is Russia's exclusive sphere of influence. The Chinese bid to claim Tajik territory has invited a sharp reaction from Dushanbe. As for Russia, the media outlets have also criticized China and they seem to suggest that Beijing could be testing the waters for potential future border disputes. If China interferes in Central Asia, then Putin is bound to see Beijing as a strategic threat because he considers Central Asian countries as a part of Russia's strategic backyard. Not just Central Asia, but Russia is also perturbed by China's spying activities. In June, TASS, Russia's largest news agency reported that Valery Mitko, president of St. Petersburg Arctic Social Sciences Academy, was charged with treason. Mitko was accused of spying for China. TASS quoted his lawyer as saying, according to the investigation during his trip to China, Mitko handed over classified materials to the Chinese intelligence. After his return to Russia, a search took place in his apartment. He was charged with treason. The Arctic is one of the many contentious issues in the Sino-Russian relationship. Russia strongly asserts the primacy of eight Arctic countries in the region and detests the thought of non-Arctic states playing a substantial role in the Arctic. But China challenges the Russian perception and calls itself a near-Arctic state. The polar ice is melting and with rising temperatures, the Arctic will become an alternative to the Indo-Pacific in a distant future. Beijing is laying the groundwork for a polar silk road through the Arctic, much to Moscow's anguish. A sanctions-ridden Russia is usually eager to expedite the sale of its defense equipment. But last month, Russia made an exception. Moscow suspended the delivery of its prized S-400 missiles to China. The suspension of missiles delivery was a subtle message that Moscow won't tolerate Chinese theft of Russian defense designs. Within Russia, there's a lot of anger regarding intellectual property theft by China. Last year, Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate, Rostec, had even accused China of stealing its intellectual property. Yevgeny Livadny, Rostec's IP projects, had said, unauthorized copying of our equipment abroad is a huge problem. There have been 500 such cases over the past 17 years. China alone has copied aircraft engines, Sukhoi planes, deck jets, air defense systems, portable air defense missiles, and analogs of the Panzer medium-range surface-to-air systems. And then there are other contentious issues between Russia and China, including the recent Chinese claim on Russian Far East city of Vladivostok. Moscow's time-tested friend India too has been encouraging Russia to pursue its own interests in the Indo-Pacific and has even pushed the Chennai-Vladivostok sea route that can help Russia secure its Russian Far East from China. 
In October, Russian President Vladimir Putin is expected to visit India for the annual bilateral summit between Russia and India. Regional and international issues of interest will come up for discussions which may include the military standoff between India and China in eastern Ladakh and other issues concerning Russia, China and India. China has emerged as a reckless giant which is constantly and relentlessly backstabbing Moscow. Russian President Putin is inclined to look at China as a real threat and not as a strategic partner. The Russian military aggression is not pointlessly aimed at Washington but strategically guided to curb the Chinese threat.